Welcome back to another episode of Troubleshooting with Ernie the RV Guy, where our favorite master certified RV technician uses his 35 years of RV experience to show you how to fix your RV so you can get back to having fun. So what do you say, Ernie? Let's get the fixing started. Well, if there's one thing our old friend Ernie knows how to do in an RV, it's how to kick back and relax. Here he is catching up on some industry reading when all of a sudden the lights go out. Man, just when it was getting good. Well, this isn't Ernie's first picnic. He can tell that because all of the overhead lights above the master bed are out, he can't just change a bulb. He's going to have to go back to his RV's multiplex system and see if he can fix the problem there. So exactly what is the multiplex system? Well, a multiplex system is a new age electronic system used in motorhomes to efficiently control your RV's interior lights through a minimal amount of wiring. And you can see here, the multiplex system looks a lot like a control panel. And essentially, that's what it is. So what we want to do first is locate the panel in the multiplex system that controls, among other things, your RV's overhead lights above the master bed. Here's a closer view of that panel, and you can see that we have a series of standard fuses and what they control written next to them. The red arrow is pointing to the identification for bed overhead lights. Next to that is a 5 amp fuse for the lights. And over here is a light that is not lit, indicating that channel 2 is not receiving power. Here's a closer look at the unlit light. But how do we know what channel 2 is and what it controls? Well, that's a good question. The multiplex system essentially groups lights like your bed's overhead lights into channels so that a minimal and efficient amount of wires can be used for your coach's interior lights. Looking back over here, we see that the bed overhead lights are the second group from the bottom. Here's the controlling fuse, again, second from the bottom, which in this case means that the overhead lights are grouped in the second channel. Channel 2's light is off, indicating a loss of power. So the first thing we want to do is check the fuse for channel 2 using a test light. A few episodes back, Ernie showed you how to use a standard test light to check fuses in your RV. The first thing you want to do is hook your ground clamp to the ground bar or any grounded source. Then, touch one side of the fuse and see if the light turns on, which in this case it does. Then, touch the other side of the fuse and see if it's okay. Well, in this case, both sides of the fuse make our light turn on, so it looks like our fuse is good. Well, that's stranger than a bearded ballerina at a rodeo. What do you think the problem is, Ernie? Whoa, I know that look, folks. Looks like the RV guy has a plan. Over here we have a connector that feeds our wires from our overhead bedroom lights into the proper channel in our multiplex system. Again, we know that our overhead bed lights are grouped in the second channel because they're the second group from the bottom. Looking at our connector, we see that the green wire is the second from the bottom. So that's the wire for channel 2. Now there's a good chance that we have a loose connection in there and that's what's causing the channel to lose power. So what Ernie's going to do is remove the connector and attempt to make a better connection. He's first going to pull the wire out slightly, then push the wire back into the connector until the wire snaps into place in the holder. Once he's done that, he's going to snap the connector back into place on the multiplex system. And notice how the light for channel 2 is now lit. That means that our overhead bed lights are on and Ernie can get back to doing what he does best. Not exactly sure what that is. But as long as you have a good time doing it, right Ernie? Well now you know a little bit more about how your coach's multiplex system works. Just remember to always consult your manual or a certified technician before attempting to fix your RV. And be sure to come back to BetterRVN.com real soon for more troubleshooting with Ernie the RV Guy.